Wisconsin Elementary School is on that list. The kids would be split off into different schools. What worries others is what's going to happen to this building. Closing this school also have a negative impact on building homes uh, in this area. Counselor John Pettis says nearly a dozen schools have been shut down in his ward in the last four decades. Anytime that you close a school down, uh, it has a negative impact upon the surrounding community. Uh, it creates a blight uh, in a community. He points to Dunbar, Crescent Hills, Page Woodson, and former MLK schools, now eyesore. We have still quite a few properties uh, that the school district refuses uh, to do anything positive with. FD Moon and Green Pastures Elementaries are on or on the edge of his district. The money should be reinvested back into uh, the community. I thought that they were moving anyway, so I was kind of being prepared for that anyways. A parent of a KIPP school student also worries the charter school is housed in the FD Moon building, their future also uncertain. And the district will hold several community meetings at those schools impacted. A final vote is expected April 6th to figure out if they're going to consolidate these schools. We're live near Britain and Penn. Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News.